Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on determining whether two lines are perpendicular given their equations. Now let's draw two lines which are perpendicular. Now remember perpendicular means that the lines are at right angles to each other. Now let's suppose this line here had a gradient of 2, m was 2. It looks about 2 and that's because if we think about what a gradient of 2 actually means, it means that for each time x goes up by 1, the y value goes up by the gradient, which in this case is 2. So for each one across, you go up 2, and that will give you a gradient of 2. Now you might be able to see by sort of rotational symmetry that with this line here, for each time you go across 2, each time x increases by 2, the y value is decreasing by 1. So what would be the gradient of this line? Well, it's change in y over change in x. The change in y from here to here is minus 1. And the change in x is 2, so it would be minus half. So if this gradient was 2, this gradient would be minus half. So if we kind of compare these, the gradient and then the gradient of the perpendicular line, I'm just going to use this symbol to mean perpendicular to, if the original gradient was 2, the gradient of the perpendicular line would be minus half. Similarly, if the gradient was 3, that would become minus a third for the perpendicular line. So it seems like positive is becoming negative, and you're doing 1 over it, so 2 becomes 1 over 2. Similarly, if you had minus 4, it goes from negative to positive, so the sign changes, and you do 1 over it, so it'd be a quarter. And if you multiply these two numbers, so if you do this multiplied by this, what's 2 times minus half? Well, 2 times half, that's the same as saying what's half of 2, which is 1, and positive times negative is negative, so it'd be minus 1. Similarly, if you times these two numbers, you get minus 1. If you times these two gradients together, you get minus 1. So basically, the key point here is that if two lines, so if L1 and L2 are perpendicular, and their gradients are M1 and M2, then the product of the two gradients will be minus 1. So let's look at lines L1 and L2. For L1, what's the gradient? Well, the gradient here is the number in front of the x. It's 3. So the gradient here is 3, mx plus c, remember? And what's the gradient of the second line? If y equals mx plus c, and we want the m, the gradient here is minus a third. And then we can check whether these lines are perpendicular by multiplying those two gradients together. So if we do 3 times minus a third, well, a third times 3 is a third of 3. That's 1 and it's going to be negative 1. And because that is equal to minus 1, you therefore say the lines are perpendicular. And if they weren't minus 1, then the lines are not perpendicular.